guys welcome back to take it by four spring movement I know it's been such a long time that you've heard my voice on this channel in a new video but there are so many reasons I have that I can give you I have gotten so busy I was traveling a lot and just a lot that has been going on you know uh, my husband and I have been traveling and just we you know ministry we have a, a ministry here in Barbados so it's just a lot that's been going on and I was never able to get back to doing a pre video however I'm here today to say thank you for keeping up with the channel because even though which is what I said before even though I wasn't around um, the channel has grown and um, because pray is something that you can do repeatedly you don't have to have a necessarily a new video you can go back and use the old videos and pray from those videos it's the same anointing and so I really want to thank you guys to all the new subscribers I really want to say thank you and to those that are not new thank you too <laughs> um, I am going to be wrapping up the take it by force um, pray movement until January because I'm going to be working on a new project that's going to take up a lot more of my time and so I'm going to be starting fresh in January which is the same I'm doing for my Nina Air show <laughs> I'm going to be starting fresh in January for those of you who do not know that I have a Nina Air show I actually have a show called the Nina Air show so I encourage you to run on over and check that out as well so in the meantime while we're on a break you can be watching some of the Nina Air show <laughs> um, so share that good news okay um, today I'm going to be praying with you and uh, so that's why I'm here today to pray with you and to also let you know I'm going to be taking a break and I will be returning in January but before I go I just remembered so thank you Holy Spirit um, I am going to be filming live on my take it by force prayer movement Facebook page which I have already started but I had to break again because like I said I was traveling and got so busy just came back from a women's retreat and it was just you know a lot going on um, but uh, so while this is going to be on a break, I'm going to be having the live videos on Take It By Force Pray Movement page on Facebook. So if you're part of this channel, then you can run on over there to get those videos. For those of you who are like me that like something fresh, <laughs> you can run over there. Or those of you who are like me that sometimes need to have that bit of encouragement. Uh, I don't really need it as much now, but especially when I was new in prayer and everything and in ministry, I needed that encouragement. So if you were like me at that time and you need that, then you can run over over there and get those prayer videos those live videos which are stored on the Facebook page so I don't want to keep this video long so let's jump into today father I give you praise and thanks for what you're doing in my life what you're doing in the life of your people I really thank you oh Lord and I thank you for your grace we are in the month of grace and I thank you for this month of October that so many tremendous things are going to be birthed and so many tremendous things are going to take place in this month I give you praise and honor and thanks and I give you all the glory in the mighty name of Jesus as I pray today father allow the anointed to touch somebody's life uh, that the transformation will come onto them allow the anointed to touch somebody's in their mind their heart their body their soul in the name of Jesus that their lives will be cleansed because of the anointing that's on my life allow the anointed to touch somebody's life that's looking for a change a new phase of their life in the mighty name of Jesus and with that said, that's what today's video is going to be on, prayer uh, for the next phase of your life. And I know that there's so many people that can get stuck and wonder like, what's going on in my life? I remember once I was praying and the Holy Spirit told me to contend for my destiny. So you see, we have to be in a place where we are contending for our destiny, not today and not tomorrow, constantly. We get into a rut where we pray and we stop. You know we, we and I understand it don't get me wrong I'm not here to judge anybody or any situation not at all I understand it completely it happens to me sometimes but I've learned to push past it so what happened is you get in a rut and you in your prayer life also your worship life in your study time with God and also um, a phase in your life in ministry or, or even in your business or whatever you're called to whatever it is that God has given to you and you begin to wrestle inside and you don't know what to do so today and I want to just encourage you in this moment that to keep contending 
keep encourage yourself if you have somebody that's close to you call that person and say hey I'm, I'm just having a bit of a setback I feel stuck in this phase of my life what can I do can you pray with me it's good to have prayer partners somebody you know that that you trust that can encourage you you trust that you can maybe share that burden with that's happening to you I'm not saying give it to everybody give it to somebody that you actually trust with it amen that 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 somebody that's willing to pray with you somebody who who wants to see you become all that God has called you to be and to have amen somebody who will celebrate you and, and applaud you the gift of God in you and be blessed by you as well amen so let's jump into today's prayer I'm excited about it so somebody say with me say father reveal the details of my of the next phase of my life in the name of Jesus say father in the name of Jesus reveal to me even now as I pray oh God reveal it in my mind reveal it in my spirit uh, oh god in the name of jesus the next phase of my life oh god i feel stuck lord god at this level i feel stuck oh god at this anointing i feel stuck oh god at this phase in my life oh god whether it be in ministry in marriage in your business call it out as you pray it in the name of jesus say father i feel stuck i feel even stuck as i declare your word oh god i feel stuck in my prayer life oh god whatever it is you call it out the lord wants to hear you calling it out whatever it is you call it out say father i feel stuck i don't know which which way to go what books to read how to mature myself how to develop myself how to get to that next phase in the name of Jesus father reveal even now the path that you need me to take Lord God something that would challenge my mind and my body my heart and my soul something that would challenge me to grow and develop and mature in the things of you in the mighty name of Jesus Lord God release that anointing upon me release that revelation upon me release that wisdom upon me oh God for my, the next phase of my life uh, in the mighty name of Jesus release oh God upon your people even now in the mighty name of Jesus and those who need their minds to be cleansed oh God that they would receive today oh God cleanse their minds and their hearts and their souls oh God in the mighty name of Jesus cleanse their vessels oh God that if there be anything that has them stuck on God that's hindering them from seeing and knowing and discerning the next phase are receiving that revelation as you release it oh God are release are receiving that wisdom as you release it oh God are receiving that path oh God are receiving that new divine uh, 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 creation oh God that new divine idea oh God in the mighty name of Jesus release oh God and anoint it to cleanse them oh God in the name of Jesus cleanse their mind their heart their souls their bodies oh God their spirits oh God by your word today oh God release that anointed to cleanse the cleanse their hearts oh God the mindset oh God cleanse their minds oh God cleanse the heart oh God cleanse their hearts oh God even now oh God in the mighty name of Jesus for that next phase oh God for that next phase oh God because father your word said that you will not pour new wine on all wine skin oh my who needed to hear that today he will not pour new wine it's just that he will not anoint the filth he will not anoint that which is dirty he will not anoint that which is seeking only to operate on the works but grace he will not anoint that he will not increase that in the mighty name of Jesus in the name of Jesus cleanse us today oh God even as I pray today ask the Lord say Lord I need your cleanser to come upon me I need that cleanser I need that cleanser for your new revelation your new thought process a new way of being a new way of operating a new way of thinking I need that oh God in the mighty name of Jesus in the name of Jesus so Lord God cleanse my heart my mind cleanse me oh Lord every 
every day I wake, my mind is bombarded. My heart is bombarded. The things that enters into my heart, oh God, I know that is not of you, oh God. Remove the seeds of the evil one from my heart, oh God. Remove the seeds of defilement from me, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus, that this new phase that you have for my life, oh God, that I will discern it with accuracy. In the mighty name of Jesus, accuracy, O God. Rabba sokon di 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 biko soto. Minde la kosi ndara bakoto kosekete. I feel stuck. Come on, somebody. You gotta be able to be humble in your prayer and offer up a sincere prayer, telling the Lord, thy God, where you are, that He will be able to help you. Man de la kosheke. Man de liki andori yabasoko. If you know you are stuck, kaba shetete. Open your mouth and say unto the Lord, say, Lord God, I am stuck in my life. In my prayer life, I am stuck in my marriage life, in my home life. I am stuck, Lord God. I have not received a creative idea in forever, oh God. I feel stuck in my business, oh God. I feel stuck in ministry, oh God. It seems like I'm operating from the same anointing from five, six years ago, oh God. Father, you are God of the increase. Show me that new phase, that new level in the name of Jesus. Lord God, whatever need to be burnt, whatever need to be burned off of me, burn Burn it off now. Burn it out my mind. Burn it out my heart. Burn it out my soul. Lord God, whatever need to leave me, let it leave me now. Under this anointing, let it leave my life. Let it leave my life. If it's the lust of the world, the lust of the flesh, Lord God. If there's any other God that I'm serving, Lord. Lord, I lay my life down that you be removed everything that is not of you from my life. In the mighty name of Jesus. Just remove it now as I pray and I cry out to you from my heart, oh God. Lord, I give you my life now. I withhold nothing from you. In the name of Jesus, Lord, enter my heart now. Lord, remove whatever seed of defilement now. Lord, enter my mind now. Lord, remove any seed of defilement now. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, whatever it is that has entered into my heart, Lord God, whether it be isolation, Lord, whatever words the enemy has spoken that has tormented me, your words said to resist the devil and he will flee from us. Lord God, if it is that I'm not resisting, oh my Lord, if it is that I'm exposed in the realm of the spirit, Lord God, show me where I'm not clothed. If it is, Lord God, that I'm not wearing my helmet of salvation, Lord God, if it's not, if it's not that I'm not shedding my feet with the, the gospel of the truth, oh God, the, the peace of the gospel, Lord. If it is, Lord God, that I'm not wearing that buckle of truth, Lord God, if it is that I'm not wearing the breastplate of salvation, the breastplate of righteousness, Lord God, whatever part of the garment that I'm not wearing. Lord, where my armor is not intact, Lord God, reveal it to me in the name of Jesus for my next level. For my next phase, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Wherever the enemy has entered, oh Lord, and has pressed me down or has contaminated my mind, my body, my soul, Lord God, cleanse me now in the mighty name of Jesus, whatever he has planted in me, Lord, in the middle of the night, in my night sleep, Lord God, remove it now, Lord God, pluck it out by fire out of me now, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, pluck it out now, pluck it out now, pluck it out now, Lord, pluck it out my heart, Lord, pluck it out, Lord, I am determined in my heart, Lord, I'm determined in all parts of my vessel, Lord, that I shall enter into my next phase of ministry, business, Lord God, marriage, Lord God, career, Lord God, education, Lord God, whatever it is, Lord, show me the development plan, oh God, show me the plan, Lord, of mentorship that I need, Lord God, whatever it is, Lord, release that anointing or release that word to somebody, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, Arabasanda Yarabakoshondiabahasa. Oh Lord, cleanse my heart now, Lord God. Open my heart to receive it. Then that person speak to me, Lord God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. 
Mashili da raba sokonde de bebe be sotondo. Mari kando do do bashindi la la raba sete kete. Cleanse our hearts, Lord. Cleanse our in the name of Jesus, Lord, 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 Lord. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah, somebody. I came here today with several prayer points to release onto you, and I was only able to get out one prayer point because the anointing came immediately, immediately. So somebody need this. Somebody is stuck. Somebody is stuck in their minds their heart and their movements in their ministry in their giftings somebody needed this anointing today but God has delivered uh, a prayer and an anointing onto you receive it now in the mighty name of Jesus I don't have time for any other prayer points that's the only one that came and that's the only one I'm going to be obedient in releasing onto you the other prayer points are here and it's for the next phase of our life I will come back and pray them and I will ask the Holy Spirit if to release them right after this video or if to release them in January, which will be a great time as well. So God bless you. I love you. Go in peace. Serve the Lord. Until then, and if you don't see me in the next video, you will see me again in January. So enjoy your Christmas. Enjoy your holidays. Have a wonderful time. And in all you do, remember that the Holy Spirit dwells on the inside of you. So you are not without a comforter. Amen. I love you, I love you, I love you, and thank you for all your support. To be part of the Nina Air Show, subscribe to receive every new video, turn on your notification bell. And if you want to be, if you want to do something nice to me, you can forward the videos to the persons that you know in your life that need them. Thank you so much. God bless you. I love you. Bye.